What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you something really crazy, and that's a brand new update to ChatGPT. Now, you're probably already used to add-ons being in ChatGPT through browser extensions, but now, if you were to head over to ChatGPT, you'll see at the very top 3.5 and GPT-4, assuming you have ChatGPT+. That is a requirement to use plugins and web browsing. If we change to GPT-4 and hover over it, you should see additional buttons down below here. But for now, they're not here. If you don't see them, you can click the three dots on the bottom left by your username, click settings and then under beta features you'll find web browsing and plugins i'll enable both of these as it'll make them both appear in the drop down at the very top so if i change to gpt4 you'll see there's two options below browsing and plugins gpt 3.5 doesn't have this you'll need chat gpt plus in order to use them if we use browsing for example i'll be able to say what is the weather in johannesburg and it should reach out to the internet and tell me what the weather is here now. Though something definitely notable about this is that it's incredibly slow. But of course, that'll be improved in the future as this is still in beta. For now, at least using BARD and Bing to browse the internet will result in much faster responses. There we go, it's 55 degrees football. Obviously, it's not choosing Celsius because why would it? Anyways, I need to wait for this to finish or cancel it. And now let's try something else. I'll make a new chat, GPT-4, and this time enable plugins. Now, you'll see that we can only have one of these selected at a time. But now that I have plugins, I'll click the drop down here for no plugins enabled and head to plugin store. Then we'll accept these and you'll see tons of responses here. And of course, there are many, many plugins that we can choose from playing tic-tac-toe, for example, though this is definitely a fast way to burn through your 25 messages every three hours. Let's go for something a bit more useful, such as most popular Wolfram. OK, now that we've installed it by clicking install, you should see the Wolfram icon at the very top. And we can, of course, enable multiple plugins. I'm pretty sure on mobile, you're not able to enable plugins, but you are able to interact with them in chats that already have plugins enabled. Obviously, though, that'll be changed in the future. Now we can ask it to something a bit more complicated and math related, which ChatGPT sometimes struggled with. So let's go. How many root 66s would it take to stretch from Earth to the sun. Now, of course, it'll need to find out the length of Route 66, the distance between the Earth and the sun, and use Wolfram Alpha to compute it. This should be a lot more accurate than a text model trying to predict what text comes next for simple math, as that can obviously go very wrong and result in inaccurate answers. Now, of course, this does take some time. I assume if I can expand these, we can see exactly what it's doing. All right, so first of all, distance from the Earth to the sun. It got back an answer here. Then length of Route 66. Cool. Then a query. Length in miles. Interesting. I assume it got time, whereas it wanted length. Ah, I see. Okay, Wolfram wasn't able to calculate hours into miles, but with a separate question, it was able to give it in miles shortly after length of the US route 66 in miles. And finally, it was able to calculate it here in this answer as 38. And we're waiting for it. Anyways, you get the point. It's doing math. It's chat GPT. Pretty cool. Now, of course, there's many different plugins that we can look at. It's a bit of a shame we can't enable them as we go or maybe get OpenAI to automatically enable them. Maybe that's something it can do. But anyways, it's able to do more complicated math and interesting things now, which is really cool, actually. Now, obviously, the results that you can get will vary dramatically, partly on luck and partly on how you word things. As ChatGPT is trying to interact with these as a human would, and it may not always get things right, but it's a huge improvement over just plain ChatGPT. I'd love to see where this goes in the future and definitely would love to see the 25 messages cap lifted as well. Now that you can chat with plugins, for example, you'll very easily hit this limit. And well, that's that for the next few hours. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick update guide. So thank you all for watching. My name is me, Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.